the, the crucial role in providing a, a diverse and attractive retail offering is always going to be important. So we're always open to new ideas um, and innovations. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that on the other way. Uh, our history lends, us, uh, lends itself to that. Um, and uh, the uh, appeal of this particular initiative, which has already been piloted on the mainland, we felt was a real opportunity uh, that we would grab with both hands. So I'm grateful to, to Councillor Jones Evans for, for introducing me to the conference where we heard about this initiative, uh, which is actually on just at the end of November. Uh, and I'm grateful to John and Hannah from, from uh, y, YDYT uh, coming this evening to tell you more about it. Um, so it's over to them really to, to talk about it. They know a lot more about it than I do. And obviously I'm here to field any other questions when we, uh, when we have that session. John. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Chris. Okay, um, yes, um, my name's um, John Wood. I work for maybe one of the companies involved in here. And um, I don't think to speak for about five slides, hopefully. Hopefully less than five minutes. Um, and all I'm going to do is really set the premise of how we came up with um, what you think and why we're doing it. Hannah's then going to take over and go through some of the results and actually how you get involved in this. But the whole, maybe it's been around for about two years, so it's still a relatively new company, but the basis behind it was really looking at how people buy, you know, how consumers buy, and how retailers can start you know, adapting to that. How early in the buyer's journey or the customer journey, whatever you want to call it, can retailers start engaging? And and it was really this particular statistic was the big one. This is what the whole foundation really started thinking about. And so whenever you read in the you know, financial pages or the media, whatever it might be about town centres, retail. It is all about the decline of traditional retail, you know, the Porter's Report, all of that. Yet, Deloitte and Forrester, two very big consultancy companies, are still saying 80% of all retail is still happening offline. And that's trillions of dollars, pounds, euros, whatever you want to call it, is still you know, happening offline. The challenge is how do you actually to these people, how do you actually influence this? And if you think about how, well, if I think about how I buy things, um, I might be new. So, yeah. so, how much of that 80% is based on like supermarkets, Tesco's, and all this? That is for the retail sector. But how does that exclude all their online, all, all their online retail So, a lot stuff. of that could be supermarkets. It can be supermarkets, it can be bicycle stores, it can be the whole of that retail sector. So, it doesn't, it is a large sector. Mm -hmm. But you know, the perception is that figure is plummeting rapidly, you know, downwards like lemons off a cliff if you read the papers. But what we're saying is retail is still an offline, face-to-face, you know, -face, going to a store activity. But what is changing is actually how people buy. And it's that browsing beforehand. So people are now browsing, using the internet, using social media, you know, using comparison sites, whatever it might be, as that formulates their decision to actually start, you know, on that buyer's journey, on that consumer journey, to actually then, you know, so we'll go and still do it, you know, online, that is going to want to disappear, but what we want to do is help people with this part, influencing that part of the digital journey. That's the key part for us, and we're going to do that through social media, and that's a very broad term. So it can be Twitter, it can be Facebook, it can be Instagram, it can be Pinterest, whatever is the major platform out there. And it's actually encouraging retailers to start sharing content and retweeting and actually amplifying this noise. And as a group, and what we've found, the What You Think campaign, especially within town centres, individual retailers some are brilliant at social media and they're actually out there doing Facebook and doing all that, but it's hard work and it's time consuming and it can become all consuming. So we're trying to take that heavy lifting away and do the sharing, responding to comments, making sure the comments which we're responding to aren't the negative ones, because it can be a negative world out there in social media, so we're going to not broadcast those, because that's not the purpose of this campaign, to actually start retailers and consumers having conversations all the consumers actually hit the high street. And uh, are you, are you talking, going to talk about key scarabs? Or 
Sorry. No, yeah. uh, so we have a retailer in Cheltenham. Um, it was an independent uh, shoe retailer. No social media presence, no, web uh, no um, website. I think she might have finally got on um, eventually. She, like most retailers in the one sort of, you know, smallest you know, room than this in Cheltenham, was not having the best time on the high street. So she started promoting her shoes through the What You Think campaign. Put up a pair of shoes, broadcast it out there, unbelievably, what do you think on this design? And people would say, it's great, I'll tell my friend, or hmm, not for me, or I actually really love that. And then what Keith Scarrett would do, they'd say, okay, well, use this code, come into the store, and you've got 20 pounds off. And the thing is, what happens when people come into a store, you know, especially an online, an online retail store, they spend more money. Offline retail is still a higher margin business than online you know, retail. And she did something, I think it was um, for Black Friday or one of these sort of events leading up to Christmas, and she did a Black Friday sale. But the you know, condition was, if you did it sort of offline, you got small, yeah, sort of big discount. If you did it online, tiny discount, get people into the store. And she was broadcasting from having, I think, the previous year, maybe 20 followers or 50 followers on you know, Twitter to 15,000 people. That's... And um, you know, the, the great sort of you know, connection there is that the she connection is though the, 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 the thing is that when you physically go to the shop, you physically are tactile. And that's exactly, it. and that's and what that's, she, she and wanted. That is, the, I think, what you're getting now. Is yeah, my point, if I'm not? but she eventually could. In you know, she didn't know who was actually looking at her shoes. Yeah. And she now had an audience yeah. of fifteen thousand. Yeah. Going, actually, I do have a yeah, Christmas yeah. present. I do have all of those reasons. So it was encouraging people yeah. to actually come on board that way. So um, that is the basis of what we're doing at you know, What You Think is encouraging you know, retailers, museums, service industry. Mm -hmm. We even had something um, um, this week from a fish and chip shop in Cheltenham broadcasting the fact that Cheltenham now has a higher digital influence than Birmingham. Cheltenham you know, now ranks eighth or ninth in the UK, higher than Birmingham, which is crazy on one level. But I'm quite pleased that a fish and chip shop in Cheltenham is actually saying, hey, we're doing a really great job on this. And that's probably the other part of this, is, is the actual digital influence. And this is an index, this is where we start ranking towns. <coughs> we collected all the data and we collected on a daily basis of the digital output of I think it was 150,000 businesses now, around the UK, 1,300 towns, and we can rank them on where they sit in an index. And as soon as you rank something, you can start improving. So somebody like um, Newport is 234 in the UK for its digital output. So one of our goals for this campaign is to get going through the roof. Yeah, we can take you know, Stafford, which is just a small town on the northwest of Birmingham, to 22nd in the UK. That's the 22nd or what's awesome. Yeah. Um, and yeah, their footfall has gone through the roof as well. That is the importance of that. So we want to sort of take this ranking of two, three, four, amplify this output to actually get you further up the list from there. The small village um, I live in, uh, Winchcombe, was down in the 500s or 700s, and it's now over around about the 100 mark. And this is a small town, yeah, small tiny village in the middle of the Cotswolds with less than 30 retailers. But by sharing this, we're getting a disproportionate amount of amplification. And people who you know, are coming to Winchcombe for walking holidays, you know, for the restaurants or whatever, it's Sudley Castle or whatever it might be, are getting part of this. What do you think? And then can start going into the stores. We don't just go to the castle and get on the bus and go home. You know, actually, I want to go to the museum, I want to go to the emporium, oh, Lady Jane's tea shop, or whatever it is, it's all involved in there. So, one of our goals here is on this digital influence. <coughs> it's just another you know, arrow in the quiver you know, sort of, to actually get people back onto the high street. The one thing that's not there is a silver bullet. It can't be. But it is a factor which can start influencing footfall back onto the high street. And it's almost getting to that point where if 
we understand how shoppers buy digital and offline and start influencing that digital part even before they're aware they're on that area of cons uh, consumer journey or customer journey from there. Okay? It's the clicks to bricks. It's, yeah, it's no strangely it's the other way around. So I was in the, um, yeah, I strangely started my career on bricks to clicks. <laughs> to <laughs> But uh, I've just got bonking on the whole uh, bricks to clicks. Um, I was in Silicon Valley when it all imploded in 2001. Not a good idea place to be. So yeah, <laughs> you actually write that down for the next one. You know? um, so that's what it is. Um, I'm just going to now do a session on how you actually run this as retailers. And the focus is on taking off the heavy lifting here. You know, so it's not going to be an onus social media sort of get home after a hard day and spend three hours tweeting on Facebook. You know? That's not what this is about. Um, I'm going to be around after, you know, during this, so do ask as many questions as you can or as you like. And um, just as a bit of competition, I think we're in ride from tomorrow. Is yes. ride higher or lower? I hope it's higher because I live in ride. No, <laughs> and I do social media, but it's probably not. not. It's probably yeah, not. Yeah, <laughs> not sure. Uh, five from five well, we'll, we'll sort that. We'll have a conversation. So, so you, know I mean? so you know what I'm going to say to right tomorrow morning, don't you? And then I'm going to say the opposite to you now. I'm going to be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> 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 I live in mine, but my business is in Newport. Oh, so well, that's, 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 that's what loyalty is going to I'm going to go to bed now somewhere like that. Uh, okay, Hannah, I'm going to hand over to you. <laughs> No, I've only had three friends saying, oh, you're going to Newport, are you going to stay for the Spurs game? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a failing of the educational system. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, thank you, John, um, and thank you everyone to see that's turned up this evening. It's great to see um, so many of you, um, and hopefully we can obviously get you all involved um, in a campaign that's just here to help Newport and help your business. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about um, how to use WDYT and how you can get involved and how we can increase your business's ranking alongside Newport as well. So the campaign is, is very simple and we would like to keep it as simple as possible. Obviously with social media it is, there is a bit of a challenge nowadays, there's a lot of competition um, but at the same time it, it is simple to use and even if you are afraid that it is a bit time consuming we ensure that obviously you can do it as quickly and as efficiently as possible um, whilst obviously getting results from it. So all you have to do with WYT is simply take a photo when you're in store of a product, um, of anything you're trying to promote or just generally your business. Um, share it through social media, so whether this be Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, use hashtags WDYT content and we can then share it through our multiple channels. So we have a um, business channel that's called Join WDYT and that's where content will be shared through and all you will see is it will just reach out to more and more people. The more obviously you can share with us, the more we can share through our channels and the more people are going to see it. We already have obviously quite a big audience with a lot of people that will be seeing it and whilst we're obviously using WYT, with the Newport hashtag, obviously more people are going to see that as well. So people that are coming to visit Newport will also see that. Yes, Bob? Um, is Newport our love hashtag Newport for this town? Yes. How, would it not get confused with where it was It might do, okay. but obviously we'll be sharing that through our channel. We won't be showing, obviously, other areas of the town. Is it not relevant? Yes, I was going to say, is it not relevant to put hashtag IOW as well? Yeah. Certainly, mm -hmm. you can definitely do that. There's no no issue with that at all. Um, obviously, we don't want to get it confused with the other. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. That's when, you it, when you put your sure. show in, 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 yeah. Yeah. Three. 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 yeah, I mean that's what we're here for today. We're obviously here to adapt to what will work for all of you and what works best, and so that you're seen. So, if that will work best for you, then 100% we will do that, and let's do that all together. The, the thing, if you use the hashtag IOW, there are lots of people who retweet IOW anyway automatically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, definitely, absolutely. Whatever works best for all of you, um, and whatever obviously is going to cause the most traction, most engagement, then we'll, we will do it 100%. So if that is more suited to everyone, then yeah, we'll definitely do that, and we can do that 100%.
Um, so when you share that post, obviously through Twitter, through Instagram, we will pick that up and we will share that through to our audiences, we'll engage with it, and hopefully that will just encourage more people to engage. Um, and it simply is just taking a photo of something or writing of something. It doesn't have to be a photo, but with a photo, obviously, it's more a bit more engaging. It's more visual for people, and it's just a lot nicer for people to see. Especially when they're scrolling through, they'll stop and they'll say, "Oh wow, that that product looks amazing, and I'd love to know where it's from." And that's where the whole conversation starts coming through. Um, and obviously, the more you can all share, the more your own business ranking will increase, but the more new ports will as well. And obviously that's what we're here for. Well, obviously we want to move that 234 further up the scale. Um, and get Newport obviously seeing a lot more and encourage more people to come to the town as well. So um, part of that is just all you need to do. It's very, very simple. And alongside what we do um, to help increase followers, to help obviously improve engagement, to get those conversations, obviously nowadays, we want to obviously people to be talking to consumers, to be engaging with your posts, to just be able to grasp them and be able to have new customers and a new customer following. So what we do, <coughs> what we're actually doing for Julie at the moment, Drag um, Dragonfly, is we are running a competition. So Julie's kindly um, contributed a beautiful salt lamp, and what we're doing is we're running that as a competition through Facebook, through Twitter, and through Instagram. So what that is doing is obviously that's encouraging people to reshare Julie's post, to obviously go to her page, to follow it. So that's increasing her Twitter followers, her Instagram followers, and engaging on Facebook. And then what Julie can do is she can turn that into potential customers by engaging with them. She's got a whole new following that she can use, they're hers, and she can do whatever she likes with them which is obviously a bonus and, and nowadays that it's quite hard to achieve, obviously just um, by obviously not trying to push yourself out there and really engage. Um, and what we then do is obviously from running competitions we get some lovely feedback from customers. So there's just two examples here, um, one of a suede jacket where someone's just commented saying, wow, great suede um, look jacket, love it. And then we have one um, from Owl, very random, but we do work with any business. Um, and the comment is, he's absolutely stunning. I hate to pick a favourite out of all of these beautiful birds, but he's just eye-catching. Um, and I probably won't be able to see it, but this post especially has had 73 likes in the 13 retweets, which is huge. Um, and that is just simply from someone commenting on an owl. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's it? it beautiful. It is amazing. Um, but that's that's what you want you want your customers to be talking about products about animals about food about your business it's so important nowadays and you want to be able to obviously get out there a bit more and to encourage more people to have conversations with you um, and not only this obviously we're all working in this together so what we find is when we go live in other towns that businesses will start sharing other businesses content i don't know if you all of you do it here now um, but they don't. I would encourage <laughs> it, but they're very poor at it. <laughs> um, but Some obviously, do. What this does is obviously we're all working it together. It's a conversation that we can all kind of engage with, and it's so important to obviously work alongside each other and to support each other as well. We're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to drive football into Newport to your businesses. Um, so obviously, if you can, all help each other out as well. We're all in it together. It's not a competition. So the more we can share the more it's just going to keep, keep increasing and the more your audiences and customers are just going to grow. So these are just some other results that we've had from other competitions similar to what we're doing with Juliet Dragonfly. Um, one example is we um, worked with a market stall in Stafford and she just gave away this pearl necklace. She had a 530% increase in Twitter followers just by giving an item that was £10. We've done one for Hobbycraft, um, they gave away a sewing machine and they had a 172% increase in followers on Twitter. And then along the bottom are just a couple more examples of independents that have had a reach <coughs> of over 10,000 people and more. So that's 10,000 <coughs> potential customers that you can bring to your store and that you could engage with. Um, and obviously these statistics, they're, they're huge and they're, they're so beneficial to have and to obviously use when you can after a competition's ended or when it's obviously going ahead and you can start engaging with as many people as possible.
How many followers did the um, top two have before the campaign? Oh, they're in the blog post, um, but those percentage, we basically, before we go with the competition, we obviously take their followers before and then what they are after the competition. Okay, do you know what so, they're before then? I'm not, well, I can find right. out for you. I can find out for you afterwards. Oh, no, it's that, yeah, because obviously percentage doesn't really mean much. No, but Could I can find... Could to five, can it? Well, yeah, <laughs> but it certainly wasn't. But I, yeah. I can find, we've got all the statistics, so I can find out afterwards for okay. you and then let you know. Um, but no, they're not, it's not just one to five or anything. They're usually one to 300, 400, so they're, they're pretty big, obviously, um, statistics. So but I'll find out afterwards okay. for you. Um, and what I'd like to do is just show you a video of one lady um, who is the manager at Neil's Yard in Cheltenham. Margaret was really anti-social media. She didn't believe in it, she didn't think it would ever help her, she didn't see the point in it. Um, and my job basically was to come in and to prove her wrong and to show her that it actually does work and it is, it is beneficial to a business um, as where we are now. So. Um, I'm going to show you this video and let's hear you all the talk. <coughs> I'm involved in the WDYT campaign because I thought it's a way of getting through to different customer. I think it's a fantastic idea to try and get the internet supporting the high street rather than the other way around. And that really excites me. I've never been involved in a campaign like this before, so it's very new to me, a little bit scary and really challenging. But I've signed up to Instagram, I can actually get it up my daughter now, which I'm not sure she would be excited about, but I am. <laughs> um, and we're excited that we have a whole new way of communicating with customers, and we didn't know we're there. I think every high street business should get involved in a campaign, because when there is a group of people who we are not accessing, it's our duty to go out there and try and communicate them. I think this sort of, what do you think, is a really great way for any sort of shop, it be it a cafe, a cake shop, clothes shop. I just think businesses need to be having conversations with all potential customers. So, Margaret, she explains that perfectly, really. Um, in a sense, obviously, you want to be able to talk to those customers that are there but might have not reached you yet. So, this is obviously where the competition came from and she gave me I think six hand creams to use um, which drove a huge <coughs> following for her and she did um, a bit of a, a follow-up to potentially drive football for those new customers she had where she was just offering a free sample of hand cream just to drive people in so just small incentives like that are so important to obviously take what you've she is the town censorship um, partner manager and we came into Stafford's and again their ranking um, was quite low and Stafford wanted us to come in and to obviously help increase that. So she again was not sure about it to begin with, she didn't really understand it and she wasn't really sure how it, how it could help. Um, but as John mentioned earlier, their ranking went up, their footfall increased by 22% um, from the time we worked with them um, for about I think four or five months. So, a hundred over a hundred businesses as well, I think, got involved with the campaign just by sharing content every single day. So Stafford has really gone from really low to exceptionally high. So I will just share that with you. Okay.
but, but hopefully you've um, heard a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, obviously a lot of retailers have gained amazing results from what we've done with them. Stafford has obviously had a brilliant increase um, in their footfall throughout the town. And obviously we'd love to be able to do the same for Newport um, and obviously help businesses here, help you increase your ranking, help you gain more followers and new customers and obviously help Newport as well. So hopefully you can all get, in, um, get involved, start engaging, start posting things, start sharing things. Um, we have a lady um, from our team who lives in the Isle of Wight, so she will be engaging with you, she'll be responding to your um, posts that you post on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, um, and hopefully we can obviously run some competitions with some of you, help boost your followers, help you bring in new customers. Um, and what we're doing as well is we will be doing a walk around on the 28th of February from 10 o'clock till 12 p.m. And what we can do is we can pop into your business, we can help you get started on social media if you're not already on it. We can also give you some more information, we can choose a prize to use for a competition. Um, and yeah, we can give you any more information that you need. Um, and we will be doing this hopefully every single month as well. So we're not just here now, we will still be coming in and we'll still be helping you with anything you need um, and just helping grow, grow Newport. So, um, and again, sorry, these are just really quickly some examples of business rankings um, and how they've increased. How frequently have you been communicating that ranking for individual businesses that are part of the country? Um, every, so every week you will get an email that says if your ranking has gone up, if it's stayed the same or if it's gone down. So anyone that signs up, you will get that email every single week that will tell you where, where you are basically. So the business ranking all the time? Business ranking, so your so your own business, you will get a ranking of where you where you are every single week. <laughs> How do you measure? How's the ranking measured? So at the moment, it's measured um, through Twitter, so through the amount of messages that you send, the amount of engagement that you get from it. Um, we are bringing it obviously to Facebook and Instagram soon, um, but at the moment it is through through Twitter use um, and how yeah how much engagement you've got and how many how many messages you're sending out. So that's what it's based on at the moment. Um, but obviously we are improving it as we go along. We'll be measuring our Facebook and Instagram throughout the goal at the end of the campaign. Do you think it's going to be so interesting? No, hopefully we'll get that up and running really soon. So I appreciate obviously a lot of people are on, have got a Facebook page and things like that. So we are obviously working on getting that up and running as soon as possible. But um, yeah, for the time being, it's just Twitter. But um, obviously we want to encourage so many people onto Twitter as well, um, as it is a very heavily used platform that is great to obviously really engage with people. So. I got mine through. I was like, really? I'm that low? I'm like, all the time. Clearly, not Twitter. Oh, no. We'll help you out. So, how long have you been running the running the campaign? The year? As in through the whole of the UK? Yes, yes. Um, so, we started it in 2016 um, and we piloted it in three towns in Gloucestershire. So, in Cheltenham, Gloucester, and Shroud. Um, and just from those three towns, we saw something that was really working for not only the businesses but for the town as well um, and obviously that's where we started getting a lot of great results coming through businesses were really getting involved um, and it just it, it grew so now we have a total of i think over 10 um, towns all involved at the moment more and more businesses start to get involved a lot of people are starting to hear about it and it is it is spreading um, all across the UK at the moment. So. Just have a request to see if you can do it in fresh water. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but I'm sure we can at some point. So, um, but yeah. And we're also, we've got a uh, we're a you know defined geographical space. How are we going to be drawing people in? Because obviously, when you're the main man, you can have Twitter followers. You know, they're wide draft, but they're drawing them in. So yeah. here we've got two issues: got getting people. Across the water, and people to join people who are living here. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Sort of thoughts about that. No, of course. So obviously, it will reach out to not only people in the Isle of Wight, but across all of the UK. Um, but obviously, the more you share, the more we can share, and the more it's just going to go out to a wider audience. Um, and in terms of obviously locally, the more each of you can share each other's content to really push it 
but to push your own business content as well, the more local people start hearing about it. Um, and that is the key thing. The more you can just keep sharing, the more it's just going to branch out. The answer is to get the ferry companies to give you some tickets as prizes and then get the people first. <laughs> Um, you're lucky we have one. <laughs> yeah, even running the competitions as well, that does reach out not just to people in the Isle of Wight but all across all across the UK. So it's also people are looking to come to the Isle of Wight. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's good that we're reaching out, but obviously, you know, during Christmas yeah. time of year, we're probably more thinking about yeah. things. Yeah. Well, well, but I, I found through the live stream, because you know I'm live streaming every day now, people are thinking, oh. Lynn, where can we go and stay on the Isle of Wight? It actually is, even in my little way, it's, it has raised the profile of the yeah. island. And that's the important thing, obviously, with using yeah. the hashtags and to share your content. People are searching hashtags all the time to get recommendations, so the more you can share about your business, whether it be a coffee shop, or just a beautiful independent gift, any, absolutely anything, the more you share, the more people will see it. And that's how many tags we could use be the pure island happiness hashtag yeah. because yeah. that's what this Isle of Wight is okay. and, that's a re and that, that fits with a lot of people yeah, that are doing of here anyway so I mean, yeah. everyone Fort knows that one Fort it's pure yeah. island happiness yes. the hashtags that you think are relevant please feel free to have yeah. it Happiness. So that's the one that, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, the hashtags that you find relevant that are going to obviously attract people, obviously put them in. Yeah. And, yeah. and putting in obviously WIT, we will then get that and we'll just share that as well. So whichever you think are relevant. So it is hashtag IOW or Isle of Wight and hashtag Pure Island Happiness will get automatically retweeted. Visit Isle of Wight, retweet everything with Pure Island Happiness. And there's other people who are retweeting every tweet that's got IOW in it as well. So, you know, it's... Is it just yeah. tweets? Um, yeah. Oh, you can use hashtags on the other profile, but, you yeah. know, I mean, obviously this is going yeah. mostly through Twitter. Yeah. I think it's important to... Um, some people are asking me, it's just about retailers, but it's not, is it? It's about... No, it's, it's, about oh, no, it's, it's not about... Any, any business, absolutely, yeah, as you can see, we, we work, um, no, anyone, obviously we work with the Barnell Centre for example, we work with state agents, um, we work with absolutely any business, any business you want to push, promote, shout out about yourselves. So it's all about it's, our place. It's, it's, it? it's literally about the place and it's about creating conversations and all working together to obviously help bring more people to the port. So it doesn't matter where you're from, what your business is. Just start sharing. Well, you're boosting the area, right? Yeah. That's your yeah. So, but place. it's not it's just, just that. It is boosting your business as well. Yeah. We obviously you want to help come to town. Exactly. And then one shop exactly. And and if then people are coming to visit, you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whatever. You've got it exactly. Yeah. So people that come to visit Newport, if they see that your business is on there, they might think, oh, pop in or. Yeah, the after more, my clients yeah. have a massage, they go to come out exactly. the or wherever for a coffee. Yeah, yeah. but if you we shout out about, about an independent coffee yeah. shop through your feed, they might be going through your feed and say, oh, I'll have a massage and I'll pop into that coffee shop that you share below afterwards. Yeah. It's things like that that really make an impact and will really help drive more people to all of your businesses rather than obviously there's these big chains. We still want obviously the independence to be alive and keep going. So mm -hmm. the more you can do that together and helping each other, then the, the better it's going to be. And I can say that does work because I did a video, sorry, of a, of a cafe in Ride before live stream, and somebody was coming from the mainland to meet me, and I said, "Where do you want to meet?" And he said, "In that cafe, and I want that same meal you put on the video." So it does work. <laughs> no, exactly, and it, it's very true. You just by just showing one photo, someone will see that, and hopefully they will they'll come and visit you just from just from sharing content. So it is very important, and obviously we'd love to have all of you involved. So this is something that's in place now, ready to go yes. straight away. Yeah, li li literally straight away. Okay. So, so obviously the awareness of um, <laughs> WDYT isn't on the island yet, but how will you uh, get the attention of people on the island? So will that be through us adding the hashtags and things like that? Exactly. You've got, exactly. Now? Exactly. Um, so it it yeah. okay. Exactly. So the more you the more you shout out about it, the more people are going to see it. Okay. So yeah. and what we do is we're we're already showing it through social media, through our platforms, we're already shouting out about that we're here in, in Newport and Ride. 
um, and we're really encouraging people now to start engaging and start to post to post content. So, so yeah, this, you can literally start now. Is this gun more at the like local independent businesses or at some of the like corporate? For example, I run the whole state in town as part of the national pub company. Yeah. But you know, some we can get involved in. Hundred percent. Obviously, yeah. it can be. It doesn't. It's not. It's this isn't aimed at just retailers at all. Yeah. This can be an association group. You know, absolutely anything. Anything that can just help shout out about it. I, I do an awful lot with social media myself. I mean, yeah. I actually run social media for all sixteen sites in my area as well. So I yeah. do a lot of Twitter, Instagram, yeah, Facebook, yeah. advice, the whole lot. Um, so it's interesting to see this. I think that personally, there are a lot. Of Places that will benefit from it, it was a bit in the dark ages. Um, yeah, and people like myself, it will just help grow it even more. Exactly. Um, so I agree, it's a, it's a good thing. Um, I'd be interested to see how people catch wind of it. You know, yeah. It's, but and I mean, you catch on a bit well, yeah, inside. no, of course. <laughs> but this is why we're doing our walk arounds as yeah. well, so I can have someone from my team drop into some businesses that maybe aren't on social media yet, mm -hmm. but might be interested in getting on social media. So that's why we do things like that. Social media has done a huge benefit for me. My business has grown huge and just by the the uh, reach I get nowadays and the rest exactly. when I first started using it. Um, yeah, just, yeah, it's the basics. Of it, it just gets, shows, yeah, yeah, it just shows that it is very beneficial to the time that we're now in and that we do need to encourage the people that aren't on it really to get on it, just mm -hmm. just to help their business and to help everyone else around them as well. So, but yeah, that's why we're doing these walk arounds to to do that and to help those that that do need it, as well as the ones that are already involved as well. So, when we when we went to the, um, the conference in November, Polly said, you know, you've got to think about doing this, sending a tweet out, mm -hmm. and same as having your tea break. It's all putting, you know, it's course. just going to be part of your routine. Exactly. And you've got to do it every day. Yeah. Yeah. And once you get the routine of doing it, then, then oh, you can't stop. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. just there for a couple of hours every week scheduling most mornings. Yeah. So yeah. We do that via all the different formats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially Instagram and Twitter. I mean, it's, it's easy to take them the photos and write them all the words. Yeah. That's put, it. put the hashtags. Yeah. 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 We started with Rick Warren a few other things recently as well. Social media is. Are you live streaming it? So yeah, yeah, I've got quite a few in the pub on the copyright fee because of that. I need to be I'm in the mood for dancing by whoever. Yeah, just going back to people that are going to start Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I know not many based in pub Facebook events, but scheduling posts is a really good way of doing it because then you you know consistently get your insights. I think they're good to teach the new businesses that you're going into. About how to schedule the posts, so that that everyone here chooses yeah, on a day that they yeah. get in the basics out, and any extras they can put on during the week. Yeah, exactly. Is that one of the tips that would be on the site for? One hundred percent. Yeah. So, right. any all the all the tips that we give, it's it's not obviously just it is social media tips as well. So. <laughs> that, that's the biggest, that's the biggest part. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is. It's things like that, and we use those obviously different yeah. platforms as well to do that. So. Yeah, we do obviously encourage that because it just it does make it so much easier. You just block out half an hour of your day, an hour, just to schedule as much as possible, and then that's it. You can just kind of sit back and drink your tea and not have to worry about tweeting. So, um, but yeah, we do yeah we do push that as well as much as we can. But of course, you've got to be receptive to to responding when people are tweeting back. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, exactly. that's the day, you know, you can't just shut it out. You've got no, to, yeah, and that's the important that's thing good. is that yeah. yeah, you do need to engage with the people that are talking to you because that could be a potential customer and it's so important um, to do that nowadays it's obviously a lot of people do use social media to shop online but to also get inspiration um, for whether they are visiting a place or looking for a certain thing you want to be able to grab onto them and say come on come in and I'll offer you a, a discount or some or any just a, an incentive for them to come to you as well no, we still do no. Instagram and we do um, a lot of uh, pieces through Facebook as well. Yeah, so um, the competition that we do for Julia, that's all on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and that's generating more engagement through both of those platforms as well. So it's, it's not just Twitter. Instagram. 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 They work better on Twitter and Instagram. You can still do a hashtag on Facebook, but... No, Facebook's very different in that sense, where it doesn't pick it up oh, okay. like it does with Twitter and Instagram, but, but we still do things on, on Facebook, so any platform, yeah. So when you do your autograph, can you compare yourself to a Twitter account? 
Yeah, of course, of course we can. Of course we can. Yeah, if you just give me your details at the end and then I can pass it on um, to Siobhan, who um, is my colleague that, that lives here. And yeah, she can yeah, definitely come and help you do that, no problem at all. Maybe Siobhan might have come to our next Newport Business Association meeting. I think it's a it's of March. Yeah. Um, it's like, you know, in about six o'clock in central town, so that might be. Yeah, or, or one of us can come yeah. out as well. It is the training part, because I think in the weekly emails, it's still waving, but we send out you know, educational bits and you know, daily, tips, tips, yeah. daily tips. Mm -hmm. So you know, we can go from setting you up on a Twitter account, and again, the lively audience, we're just happy to do this. And then we're going to reinforce it with daily tips. Here's an idea, do this, or even the digital moments will go, actually for this business, no matter why, this has actually really worked. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever that might be, you know, and get others to do the same. So mm -hmm. the emphasis is on learning and the digital. Yeah, we I mean, can sort of collaborate as a place about promoting, I mean, Mother's Day, shouldn't we? Exactly. Yeah. You know, like you can have your you know, meals and party. And if you start down, you've got the Valentine's Day next week. week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually so for me to get around it, but I was just thinking that's quite nice if you can all come combined. Well, then you're, saying, you know, stop, you're not being vertical anymore, you become more horizontal. And that's getting really does help and it's easier to bounce around. I've got two shops, one in Newport, one in Ride, and I have one social media for, to serve both shops basically. So presumably if I took part, that would add to Newport and to Ride's ranking? Yes, definitely. Just so, hashtag right yeah, yeah, exactly. So just, just make sure you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to share as much I as you can. Really sit on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just use both hashtags and just share as much as you can. And obviously, yeah, that would contribute to both. And can you see other people's growth? <laughs> so, can I see people in my street? Yeah, like can, exactly. Yeah, so, so, exactly. So, um, you'll get an email to say where you rank, and then you'll have an attachment of all other businesses in the How area. do you get into the back end of our systems then? That's my next question. It's, um, Sorry, it's I'm true. asking. It, it, it's it's my question is, I wanted so to ask. What, what we're we're not getting into the back end of your systems. Um, what we are doing, we're just simply measuring the output from your Twitter yeah. API, so we don't actually see anything okay. beyond. Yeah, it's not been like that. Yeah, it's that's so that's one of my major. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel security conscious. So. Oh God, no! Have you into your system or anything? Don't worry. I'm going back to that. No, don't worry. It's literally. Like, how you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it is. Yeah, it's just taken from yeah the amount. So all your monitoring is your followers. Yeah. Basically, that's what you're monitoring is outputs. Yeah. The outputs. Yeah. The outputs. Output. Yeah. Output. Yeah. Output. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's so the it's information not which. It's not that you've got access to our systems. Oh, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's what? Yeah. It's Sorry, I'm going to be exceedingly cagey. No, 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 don't apologise. I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But it's, no, it's, it's nothing, nothing like that. We're not, yeah. no, we're not hacking into security. Yeah. It's nothing yeah. like that at all. It's just, yeah, as John said, the measurement of output that's coming out from. Yeah, yeah. Just, that, that's no, I appreciate that. Yeah. On the WDYT website, there's two levels of accounts, and you can pay to be a featured or premium. Yeah, so What's you don't need to do that. So all, um, all I like, well, Newport and Ride retailers, if you just go onto this link here, um, and you can just add in your details, and that's all you need to do. Um, so there's, yeah, there's nothing in that. You literally just need to go to that page, sign up, we'll get your details. And then you will be included into the, the tips that you get via email and the ranking as well. And we can run a competition for you at the same time. And that's you deliciously to go into that link and add in your details. Uh, is there a card or card that you have to give to some of our colleagues? Mm -hmm. Loads of buyers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're more than welcome to take some of those away with you. So, just on the subject of the sign up, um, this is a paid for private three months, so it's not going to cost the business anything. However, as a salesman, if you do want to still pay us money, I'm happy for that to happen, but I probably recommend that you don't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so at the moment it's a three month part. Where do you get your money from? So right on the uh, beginning of the first um, slide, there was BT, Nominet, maybe, we work with bids, LEPs, local councils, and it's just 
stood up all the way over to that. It's all the people have an interest in economic growth. Well, yeah, centers. We've got them all and so BT have an interest, Lomita have an interest, um, yeah. yeah. And in this case it's brilliant that they um town council. Yeah, but it's all the other white council. Which is like saying this is budget. It is safe to me, it's a no brainer though, so yeah. Yeah. I agree. So how much is it after three months? It's is it five pounds five pounds a week, yeah. It's not a lot. For the you know, if it's doing its yeah. job, I mean, it's we've, very small. That's why yeah, I have coffee. Yeah, yeah we've something. tested it obviously with other with retailers in other towns with the five pound, and they they said compared to what it would be for an agency or something, it, you get so much for, for just that amount with the tips, with the ranking, with the competitions that we do, with obviously the growth as well of your channels. So it is really really worthwhile, um, and it's yeah, it's just great to obviously see it just your business grow and obviously Newport as well as a whole. I think it's going to help us sort of grow a little bit. Yeah, place, isn't it? You know, we support each other, won't we? I think you'll bring the community together. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And this is a great place to start and obviously for you to all to grow together and work on something together as well. We are the county town, we are the number one. Exactly. Something we would have liked to have done, and obviously there's been a reference to football tonight. Um, I think something we would have liked to have done is actually install a bit of mechanisms for county football in town centres. Um, so we could have held back on doing this until we got around to finding a way of doing that, finding the right technology, putting it in place, you know, ensuring the planning's okay, um, and then having a baseline. Uh, but we felt that you know, the campaign was something, particularly at this time of year, it was something that would definitely have an impact on the island. And coming out of the work we're doing with, with the uh, Business Association and the Parish Council on a place plan for Newport, it may well be that installing for four counters, for example, would be a, a key um, a key suggestion coming out of that work. Um, so obviously, we hopefully we'd be starting from a higher base in terms of footfall in three months' time or, or longer. But where the, the idea would be, we would continue then monitor footfall in in the county town to ensure that a the residency we saw this really is a, a really good investment for for regeneration in, in the town centre. Well, I do monitor mine, monitor mine on a weekly basis, so if I start, it will be interesting to see what it does as well. So definitely yeah. intrigued. Yeah. And, and also about football, it might, I don't know if you're able to do this, but it might be worth talking to some of like you, the top shot, those sort of people, because they do count their football. Right. They already do it, they've been doing it for years. Okay. Um, so if you can get in touch with their managers and talk to them mm -hmm. and get what their rates are, you've got to start with them. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I didn't know that. Excellent. Thank you. Can. So top shop. Any of the retailers. Okay. Any other questions from anyone? I'm going to send them to share that game that conference we went to. That was we all like to measure things. It was uh, a quote from uh, from John Lewis, and they said when people do a click and collect, mm, twenty they have a twenty percent of people buy something extra yeah. in the store yeah. and then the next 10% will actually spend in the street. Mm. So it's me they have actually measured it. It's proven that people will spend extra by going into the store yeah. if they bought online. No. That is very, very true. They do that because it's just an instinct, isn't it, then to go into store. So they've so already purchased once. Yeah. But then they'll pick it up and I'll get something while I'm in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'd certainly do that anyway. <laughs> so of course we rely on everyone tonight as well to spread the word. Yeah, the sure. flyers are there. Yeah. Yeah. So the more businesses, the, the higher the profile okay. of the town. So yeah. I think we could drop on last week um, yeah. amongst all the businesses anyway. But we'll keep that profile going and try and get as many registered as we can before the end of the campaign. Yeah, right. the more you can share with all, all other businesses as well, then the better. Would any sort of tips come out of things that we places that we can you know, learn from quickly? With what, sorry? Any tips that you've learned from a place that you've learned that we can get the message out quickly? Um, yeah, so a lot of it is obviously work math, going in and saying there's this new initiative, you should definitely get involved. It's super simple, just share things on social media. Obviously, start sharing straight away. 
Um, we can also do the competitions for you straight away as well. So if anyone else would like to run something like um, Julie's doing, we can do that straight away. And again, once other businesses start seeing results coming through, that will then kind of nudge them and think, oh, okay, like there is, there is something coming out from this. So the more case studies we can grow from everyone, the, the more people are going to start hearing about it and start getting involved um, because obviously they're starting to see something out of it. So. And also, I think you know, if you look at Rotary or you know, the um, other sort of business groups, um, Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and you, know, you want us to come down just to speak for 20 minutes on getting those involved, mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay. That's, that's our job. Mm -hmm. you know, sort of, um, you know, again, because it's applicable across all industries, it can be a solicitor, it can be an accountant, it can be a clerk, it doesn't really matter. You know, we can get, um, you know, just You'll probably expand a little bit more on what we've done today and just come down either myself, Siobhan, you know, basically on their own, we'll come and talk for 20 minutes. And you know, people will sign up, that's great. Mm -hmm. The other piece of advice is probably a bit more left field, is also have some fun with it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. always have to be about a product or a business. <laughs> and we can have a video. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, can <laughs> you know, you the lady in Winchcombe? She has a thing about dogs. So every time a dog comes into her store, she <laughs> takes a photograph of it. And, it's, and it works, it's incredible. Um, and I'm just disappointed my dog is never well. But um, <laughs> the other part is, um, you know, you know what I love, it's beautiful. Best commute of the day, best picture of the day. My favorite, you know, one thing we did in uh, Winchester was involved in a museum. And they ended up having a very light-hearted Twitter war with the museum in Sirencester, which is a Roman museum. You know, which was the best and the oldest and all of that type of thing. But you can also see you know, churches and other places like that, you know, your favourite view, your favourite building, your favourite church. And, they, so, and as long as they're hashtagging with them, what do you think, you know, people are Isle of Wight? You're drawing in other people because, you know, what people buy is a very emotional, you know, experience. It is commerce, but there's also other things in there as well. And also, if you've got a sense of humour, people are going to actually have like that, it's, you know, it's just that other excuse in there. So have some fun, I think, yeah, quite cool as well. Mm, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. for our town, but it's going to help the whole yard, basically. Exactly. exactly. That's how we roll down the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like John said, it's just a bit of fun, really, and it's, it's helping your business. It's keeping the high street alive again. Exactly. And that's the reason, yeah, we want to drive more people here. There's a risk in the places you don't have people at work, yeah. yeah, yeah, and we just want to encourage obviously more people to come here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, as 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 we said, it's it's all It's not simple. It's a company. It's got to be accompanied by a whole range of other measures, and that's why we're working with the with the town council and the I just think we wanted to do something. And, and get that confidence from, from you as some organisations in what we're trying to achieve. So it's a tool we've been given, so it's silly not to give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not actually costing the It's not, no. So how, how many towns have you done it with so far? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think it's about 10. Okay, so we're about 10. Yeah. 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 We were, we're, you know, we're leaders, yeah. leaders in the, in the yeah. game, you know? <laughs> and we'll be on the website as well, won't we, I guess? Oh, we've got the page on our website already, so yeah. you're already there. Um, and you'll be being shared through our national feeds and everything. So, um, yeah, just well, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Yeah, well, yeah. Thanks. 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 thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're very excited. Yeah. 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 How many doors to the other time as well? Shall we? Yeah. Just deal with that one. The, um, I think we, we decided to go with two locations on the island, first of all, see the, the biggest so towns. Yeah. 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 See, yeah, see how, it, how it goes. Yeah. Nice. Also, what, what do you think of the turn up tonight?
they're too conscious of obviously something that's new. Um, but as I said, he's not a he's not sharing. What was it? What was everything on? Everything on the stage? Right. 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 Right.